It's a story you saw first on three thousands of embryos and eggs in a cryogenic chamber potentially damaged after the liquid nitrogen tank began to thaw. Some 500 patients of University Hospital's fertility center could be impacted. Channel 3's Monica Robbins broke the story, which is now getting national attention tonight. Hi, Monica. Hi, Sarah. This is so utterly heartbreaking for these families. They put their hope and money into a program with a great success rate, and somehow the cryosystem System that was potentially supporting future families failed. University Hospital's Fertility Center is responsible for the births of thousands of babies. The technology helps to create families that previously had little hope. But last weekend, a tragic disaster happened. It's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. Embryologists noted that the temperature uh, had increased in the liquid nitrogen tank that stored our embryos and eggs. We don't know the reasons why yet, um, but we do know that the temperature that was measured at a portion of the tank was higher than our acceptable limits. The temperature increase may have impacted more than 2,000 eggs and embryos, affecting more than 500 patients. The tanks, similar to these, have multiple monitors and sensors that should set off alarms if there's a temperature flux. They can even be remotely monitored. They don't know yet if there was a mechanical failure or human error. We've actually engaged an outside expert to analyze and do an in-depth drill down to see what actually happened. The top of the tank is where the temp increase occurred. And the bottom temperature stayed at the proper uh, levels. So we are currently uh, looking at uh, what specimens exist in that gradient. The specimens were not in a dated order. They were mixed. Each vial contained two or three eggs or embryos from each patient, meaning one patient could have several vials in her name. UH overnighted letters to all patients impacted. Some of the eggs and embryos that were stored date back decades and people move, their addresses change but we've made our best attempts to track down everyone that we can. They've set up a call center to answer questions and set up appointments. The number is 216-286-9740. And we're working very, very hard to come up with more definitive answers for specific questions that they might have as it relates to their own family. Here's what we know. None of the eggs and embryos impacted by the partial thaw will be destroyed. All have been moved to another cryotank at the correct temperature. UH reported the incident to federal regulators. The fertility clinic will continue operating. What we don't know, the exact cause of the partial thaw, machine malfunction or human error. How many of the eggs and embryos are no longer viable. They must be completely thawed to determine viability, but then cannot be refrozen. There is no way to put a dollar figure on the cost of this disaster, but the hospital may waive the cost of future procedures and treatments. We are so very, very sorry. Um, we, again, um, want to do all that we can to support them, and we will stand by to answer questions and address them, understanding that we may not have all of those answers right now. University Hospitals moved its fertility center into the new Ahuja Medical Center back in 2011, and at the time, the equipment and technology was all brand new. The American Society for Reproductive Medicine says a disaster of this scale is incredibly rare. Our hearts really do go out to these patients and families who have already been through quite a process to get to this point. Is there any chance any of these would still be viable? You know, that's the big unknown. Each patient's case needs to be evaluated independently, which is why patients really need to talk to their physicians. Again, the only way to truly know is by completely thawing them, but it would stand a reason that those that were in the biggest temperature increase at the top are probably damaged. All right. Thank you, Monica. Sure.